Hey, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a pretty quick one. We're gonna go through, refresh, and organize all of my first aid and medications and medicine and all of those types of products and get it finally set up in a little drawer that I have here in my bathroom. So if you're ready for it, let's get going. I'm starting first by taking everything out of the drawer that I had all of these medications and first aid supplies in. I had some organizers in here, so some people might think it may have been organized in there, but it really felt like a mess to me. So I wanted to pull everything out, dump it out of all of the containers. You can see some of the organizers still had labels on them. So I needed to take those off and really just evaluate what I have, check expiration dates, and make sure it was working efficiently for us. Step number one is always to sort and categorize so you know exactly what you have. So I'm making piles of first aid supplies. I also have some sunscreen in here. Then I have prescription medications and then just other general medications. So I'm going to kind of divide it up into those piles. I didn't really feel like these organizers fit in here perfectly, but they're what I had. I had three of them from our previous apartment. I actually used them in the refrigerator and I got one extra to fill out this drawer a little bit more, but it doesn't fit perfectly. So I wanted to see if rearranging it in a different direction might make more sense. I think I decided I like it still the same way. Everything kind of like vertically right in front of you. So with that figured out, then I'm going to start on the floor back sitting and filling everything up. I also had some extra photo keepers that I brought into the bathroom with me because I thought I might want to use those. I use those for some decanted medications. Now, a quick note, if you choose to decant any of your medications, so that means taking it out of the original packaging, you need to be really, really careful with medications and making sure you keep the instructions. So that's fine to take it out of the box or whatever. Just cut out the part that has any sort of instructions or dosage and put that in the container that you choose to decant the product into. So for me in the photo keeper, I will cut out the dosage information and put it in there. If it's something like cough drops, I don't really mind decanting it. I don't need instructions on how often to take a cough drop. But other things like Dayquil or Nightquil, I might kind of forget. So I do cut those out and put them in the photo keepers. You'll see as I'm loading things up, I'm checking for duplicates. I'm checking for expiration dates. I'm not super, super strict on expiration dates with medications. If it's way far gone, like years and years expired, I'll probably get rid of it. But if it's soon to expire or just expired by a month or so, I typically don't mind. The other thing I should say about medications is that a lot of people will tell you that you should not store medicine in your bathroom because of the way that the temperature fluctuates in the bathroom and that your medications won't last as long and aren't stable in that type of shifting environment. Our bathroom is so big and open and we never close the doors in it or anything. So I never feel like even when we're taking a super hot shower in there, the bathroom never really heats up or cools down and there's no real drastic temperature fluctuation. Also, these medications are in a closed drawer, so I don't worry about it too much, but maybe if you do have a really small bathroom and it's right next to a shower, you might want to avoid that. Another thing I really like using the photo organizers for is for band-aids. I hate digging through and trying to figure out the exact size band-aid I want, especially when you're in a first aid emergency and you just need a band-aid, you're bleeding. So I had them all in one photo organizer and decided to bring out a second so I could divide them by small band-aids and large band-aids. And I know that's gonna help a lot in a quick situation. Some of these other photo organizers that I brought in here had old labels on them from when I used them in my apartment. I can just easily peel that off and repurpose them, which is really nice. I always try to make sure not to permanently label any of my organizing products because I like reusing them around the house and mixing things around. 
I'm always refining my organization. So even my vinyl labels, you can kind of pick at them and get them off. And I have absolutely done that before, especially when we made the move from our apartment to this house. There were a couple of hand creams in here, so I'm going to set those aside. Those don't probably need to be in here. And then I'm going to go through my sunscreen again, checking expiration dates. I know if sunscreen's expired, it can have an impact on the efficacy of it. And nobody wants a sunburn because they were trying to pinch pennies and use expired sunscreen. Again, I'm using the same kind of rule of thumb of if it's years and years expired, I'll toss it. But if it's just recently expired, it's probably fine. The sunscreen made me think about some of the extra sunscreen I have in my skincare bin in this unit that's at the top of the countertop. And I wanted to go through that and make sure I was organizing things in a way that made sense. So I had some facial sunscreen in the drawer and then some up high. And I also had some in my daily use drawer. That drawer is what I use on a daily basis for my skincare, maybe a very quick makeup look. And then I have more things in that unit on top of the countertop. And what I decided is the sunscreen that goes in the medicine cabinet drawer I guess the medicine drawer is going to be the type of sunscreen I would wear if I'm really going outside to the beach or an outdoor activity. The sunscreen that I wear every single day, like under my makeup and stuff, that is going to stay in the backup skincare because it is more of like a skincare. And then the type of facial sunscreen and other sunscreens I'll put on if I'm going to a day at the pool will stay in the drawer. I also had a couple of little mini ones. Those I decided to also pull out of there and put with my travel products. So it's kind of a fine balance. You know, a category like sunscreen might seem really, really simple. Okay, put all of your sunscreen in one bin together. But for me, that doesn't totally work. I have my travel toiletries in one spot and when I'm going for a trip that's where I'm going to look first for all of the mini items that I need to travel and when I'm going to restock my daily skincare drawer and I run out of my daily skincare facial sunscreen I'm going to go to the skincare category not the medicine drawer where I have all of our other sunscreens. So I'm really starting to like the look of things. On the far right, I have our sunscreen. Then I have all of our general medications followed by prescriptions. And I have some other medications there in other medicine, in photo keepers. Then we have all the first aid and small first aid items in photo keepers. And there's a little bit of extra room because again, these organizers don't fully fit the drawer. So I put even more backup cough drops there and one more photo organizer. So with all of that, I can pull out my basic label maker. A lot of times I get questions about what type of label makers I suggest. And if you want the beautiful vinyl labels that I use in a lot of places in my house, I love using my Cricut machine, but that is expensive. They are so tedious to make and there is a learning curve. So if you're not interested in that and you're more interested in the function of the labels and just knowing where things are, letting your family know where things are, a Brother P-Touch label maker is a great option. There are some really affordable ones, but it's a reliable brand. This is my mom's old label maker, so I can't even tell you how many years it's been around. The Brother P-Touch Cube label maker is a really nice one if you're looking for something that's kind of in the middle with more font options and color options, but you don't want to go all the way up to a Cricut and you don't want to spend that money or spend the time making those labels.
I'm just placing all those labels on top of the organizers so I can see them really well. And that is pretty much it for this little medicine cabinet drawer. All I need to do is clean up a little bit. There were some other products that I had in that drawer that I felt like didn't belong. I had some retainer cleaners. I did Invisalign actually not that long ago, and I am so grossed out by not cleaning those Invisalign retainers that I feel like I need to clean them super often. So I'm going to restock my everyday drawer that I have with my toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, and put some of those in there and then put the backup box with the rest of our tooth teeth products in the top drawer. And then, like I said, I found those hand creams. I'm going to put those in a drawer under my sink where I have all the rest of my lotions. Thanks for joining me for another video. I hope that you liked this really quick organization and refresh. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I know that you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.